Firefly absolutely f The following content shared is from the Creator Experience server. This content is not fully indicative of the final product and there may or may not be changes in the version update that is official. Right now we're live on Twitch going over Firefly. A lot of guys have been asking about Firefly. I did get the Creator, uh, creator Experience server access so I was able to test out Firefly for about a week or so and boy, I'm telling you guys right now, I'm, I might be in love. So let's talk about this real quick. Whether or not Firefly is a top five character, top five DPS at that. Personally, hot take. This shouldn't be a hot take, but I'm, I'm explaining. It's a hot take because it's crazy to say this out loud. When I explain it and then I show it, it's not going to be a hot take. Firefly is a contender for best DPS in the game right now. I think high key, it's Acheron. Right beneath Acheron is Firefly. Everything that Boot Hill would want in a kit firefly this is an eo take we're gonna embrace it we're gonna embrace it this is an eo take all right you can call it an eo take a bad take an l take whatever you want to do we're gonna i'm embracing that now all right no longer will i be ashamed of the eo take because i've co consistently i've been proven right that firefly plays having immediate she has a brawn skill in her kit right she pops ultimate she immediately gets to go again she has 25 percent advance forward with her skill no matter if she's in um uh, the Gundam mode or not, right? In the Kamen Rider mode, she has a 25% advance forward thanks to her regular skill, the unenhanced skill. And then she also does the damage to be able to break you. Now, mind you, this is, I'm, everything that I'm talking about includes Ron May on the team. I just want to make that very clear. I'm including Ron May on the team because the whole condition of a break team is to break the enemy. Why would you not take the character that enhances break efficiency the most for free and put them on the team. It doesn't make sense. So I did get another question. You guys, I'm gonna answer this now too. Is May necessary for Firefly? I don't think May is necessary for Firefly, but I think she absolutely wants Firefly. Firefly can uh, perform with Asta, and because of Firefly's whole uh, Firefly's technique, basically allows her to permanently implant, implant fire on everything. This technique is easily top three techniques in the game this shit is dumb is it's busted i don't know what kind of crack hoya was on when they made this character but it was some good stuff it's a really good technique i absolutely love this technique you boom you, you set up the domain the fire domain everybody on the board gets implanted with fire now what this does is this help you with characters and teams where it's like okay i want a uh hyper carrier a main dps himiko to help break the enemy Firefly is going to break everybody anyway. And so now I can constantly, I get I want to test this team actually. You can constantly trigger Himiko's Robot Jones. And now you can build Himiko on break or the hybrid Himiko that I like with break, crit, and attack, right? So now she's doing damage all across the board no matter what. Himiko doesn't have to do a crap ton of damage. She just needs to help Firefly fulfill the condition of breaking the enemy. And while she's breaking the enemy, she obviously wants to get as much damage as possible. Then you have Firefly who just obliterates what anything broken Firefly is going to obliterate hands down. If HMC is on this team, not the Himiko and Firefly team, just HMC in general. If HMC is on this team, so we'll take HMC, Firefly, Ron May, and then Gallagher. I think that's the premier team right now. I think a lot of other people agree with me on that too. You take that team, nothing survives. Absolutely nothing survives. Harmony MC helps you break down whatever you want. If they get broken by Harmony MC, that, that's an imaginary delay, right? They get imprisoned, they're delayed they don't get a turn back and on top of ruan may having uh the lotus flower thing right or what the camilla flower or whatever whichever flower it is on top of her having that they get mega delayed so they're not getting a turn even when they do get their turn they're still not getting a turn which means the longer they don't have a toughness meter that is when you get firefly's maximum damage output she already has super break built into her kit and then super break stacks so then you have harmony mc's super break on top of everybody else's super break firefly has everything she she is one of the first complete characters uh or not the first she is one of the few complete characters in this game i think akron is a fully complete character and what i mean by complete character just to kind of briefly explain this i mean a character that really doesn't need anything extra in their kit the way their kit performs is almost perfect if it, it, it just it comes down to piloting the character right if you can pilot this character correctly, significant improvement. We have scanned, this is Pride one by the way, they've scanned 1.1 million accounts 
in EU, NA, and Asia. Uh, Hoyoverse recently, maybe a few patches ago, made it so that you can see a bunch of player statistics. It's on Hoyo Labs, right? If you want to go look up who's using what, that's the same way they, they see it in your account. When you look up recommended teams or who, what, what are my friends clear? How do they be, uh, beat MOC12? What's the gear they're using? All that stuff is on Hoyo Labs. So out of 5,300 people that have cleared MOC12, right? Side one, side two, you can clearly see the average amount of cycles. Eight, eight, nine, eight, eight, nine over here, nine over here, nine over here, eight over here. MOC has progressively gotten tougher or more difficult for the average player. So when we look at this and we're saying like, I, cause I get it, right? There are players like myself and I, I literally had it uh, in the discord yesterday when we were explaining this stuff. We are like that one percent where we can clear it no matter what because we we have the characters built we have the actual characters to be able to do this all this kind of stuff it's fine the average player is not here so when i'm looking at what a average clear is i'm sticking with three cycles maybe maybe if i really want to stretch it and we get into like meta discussions i'm gonna go from a zero to a one cycle stuff like that but for right now let's say the average clear is a three cycle if players are already still having trouble clearing things in six to ten cycles whatever it is and i could tell you a firefly team that uses multiple dps characters and you can beat it in three cycles it's good i really just want to show you guys i really just want to show you guys how firefly can function based off what I'm telling you, like, right? Like the concepts the beat, and the trotter is more proof of concept. If you remove this trotter, Firefly still does everything they wanna do. The trotter just lets Firefly abuse action advance. The trotter is basically if you have Rania and all other characters on the team. So now you see they're gonna pop everything here. Now what I do is I pop Firefly so that the, the character, I don't want this character to have a turn. What he's doing, or what they're doing is they're breaking with Gallagher, which is totally a fine option. Then they're using Firefly. And then they're gonna, they're gonna shred, right? This should be big dick damage. 519. Five, I want you guys to look at this. Look at this. 500K. And she immediately gets to go again. If not Hoyo, abused the trotter so that would have been 500k then they would have triggered trotter and they would have went again that would have been another 500k that's 1 million damage in basically one action right well, i guess two actions same turn essentially they're dead we already have seen a multitude of elite enemies Japard has an increase in hp kafka has over a million damage now all of these elite enemies have over a million damage sam is creeping up to like two two million or something like that so being able to strike a million damage in two skills turn one come on bro or my bad cycle one cycle zero whatever you want to establish it as the enemies haven't even moved yet and there's still plenty of actions one million but not single target it doesn't necessarily matter i suppose because i'm looking at the damage per screenshot in this particular case but hitting 250 on them is still pretty big i i think this is great because not only you don't have to focus on one character you just hit everybody right they're already 50 percent or less hp firefly look at this look at the lineup gallagher harmony mc firefly done they're dead they should die right here gallagher super break 76k because he's just good right here this should kill both ggs she's not dead come on firefly what are you doing you're embarrassing me <laughs> you're thank you gallagher thank you for picking up firefly slack <laughs> but you get my point in a single turn she wiped the entire board no issues. And I don't think Boot Hills is a 0.5. Sarah, the reason I'm saying Boot Hills is not a 0.5 character is simply because Firefly is here. Think about it this way. 
Firefly does everything that Boot Hill wants to do, but better. Everything. Weakness implant, I got that. M multiple enemies at that. Hitting multiple enemies, I got that. Boot Hill does not have that. I have to aim to whatever I want to do. Having the same team comps, if not different team comps, sustain or no sustain, I got that. So you're either going to place Firefly in tier zero, which would then justify uh, Boot Hill being in point five, or you're going to bump Boot Hill down and put Firefly in point five. They don't belong in the same tier. I'm telling you guys right now, Firefly is not a, she is not a tier one character. She's stronger than Ratio. She's stronger than Topaz. She's, you know, obviously stronger than Harmony MC. Anyone down here, she's stronger than. Zila still does not need to be in point five. Zila is definitely a tier one character. But even then, Firefly, as much as I don't like saying it, Firefly is stronger than Zila. As of right now, with the particular team comp that we're running, and I would love to test this outside of the current MOC. That way we don't have the Trotter to kind of like depend on and we'll see like really how they perform. Because Zila consistently performs across the board. Not a single MOC, Zila's not crushing. Day one character and she's demolishing everything. Zero reason this character should not be tier one or higher. I've, I've played her outside of the break MOC. I'm talking about like the Trotter thing in general because me playing, me playing her outside of break MOC does not stop me from playing this character. The way that I play this character, no different. It's I have Gallagher on the team to assist with breaks and because she implants fire weaknesses, something's always getting broken. Frame one, something's getting broken. I have Ruan May on the team, which is gonna enhance the break efficiency. Something's getting broken. And I'm doing damage for everybody else on the team. I'm also delaying the enemy from getting their turn. I have Harmony MC on the team to cover any imaginary weakness or just give me super break when I need it. And if I didn't need Harmony MC for whatever reason, then I could just run Branya. I hate Branya and Firefly, but it works. I could still make it work. I just don't like it. I think Branya Firefly is significantly worse than uh, Harmony MC and Firefly. But Branya makes up for what the Trotter would be doing. So the Trotter is basically a fifth teammate. If I were to remove Gallagher and put Branya on the team or put uh, put Pela on the team, now I need to make up for the break. The break matters, right? I have to break multiple people, hit multiple things, whatever. The whole condition behind break effect is smash everybody's bar. The faster you smash everyone's bar, you're done. GG's. Having Gallagher on that team, Ruan May on that team, and Firefly, those three alone, nothing in the game survives. You're done. Frame one, something's getting broken. You play that team correctly, frame one, something's getting broken. Boot Hill can't do that. He can't. You, Boot Hill cannot frame one, break the entire board with that same team setup. You can't do it. With the same team setup, you're telling me Boot Hill can smash everyone on the field. He can't. He can't. That's what I'm saying. He cannot do that. He can't. He can smash one character, maybe two, depending on if they're, you know, you're hitting a little mob and then you're hitting an elite. Firefly kills everything. They all get broken. Every single one of them. The Trotter is irrelevant. The Trotter just makes it so that I break them turn one and then I kill them in the same action. That's all it does. That's why I'm saying like adding Bronya or an advanced forward character as a fifth teammate or even taking away Gallagher, which I don't think you should take away Gallagher. But point being is that doing that adds into it. You said they get broken and they die slower. What's what's slower than zero cycles? Or my bad, what's faster? What's faster than a zero? Tell us. What is faster than a zero cycle? How? We don't have negative cycles. You can't, you can't do anything faster. If I kill something in zero cycles with Firefly and then I kill it in zero cycles with, with Boot Hill, it's the same speed. Cost comparisons in the zero cycles, all right. Boot Hill takes more actions. Boot Hill needs to do something get Bronya to do it again or bring him up again and then do it again, right? The actions Boot Hill takes require Bronya. Yes or no? Can Boot Hill smash things on his own without Bronya? Can he blow up the entire board no Bronya on the team? Yes or no? Gallagher, Ruan May, and Boot Hill. Can he blow up the board? Yes or no? Yes or no? I, I just want a yes or no. Yes? No. Just use Robin? Over who? 
Gallagher, Ruan May, Boot Hill. Those three characters. Can he blow up the board? Yes or no? You guys are saying use Rock. I'm not adding a fourth character for a reason. Because it's it's too inconsistent. If I tell you Firefly and I say put H HMC on the team, you're gonna say, oh well, uh, HMC doesn't work for Boot Hill. If I tell you Bronya and put Bronya with Fire or uh, Boot Hill, then we're gonna go into the oh well, Bronya's not the best for Firefly. Robin, oh well, she's clearly better for Boot Hill than she is for Fire. Three characters, the core, the core three. The core three. Boot Hill is not smashing faster than Firefly. Jing Liu, Boot Hill, DOT, and Firefly are all tier 0.5. They're equal. I don't think, I don't think, uh, I don't think Firefly is, is equal. I genuinely believe Firefly is stronger. I I actually think Firefly is she's and is much I, I will suck Jing Liu off till the day that I die. I'll suck off Kafka and Swan to I'll, I'll drink the, the finest of pretzel milk. Okay. I don't think, I don't think they're equal. I just don't. Being easier to play is a significant bonus. I haven't even included that in my, like my conversation. Yo, chat, you guys aren't, y'all don't do that. Listen, man, you, you guys are asking too many questions, bro. Y'all stop that weird shit. Anyway, point being is that. It is what it is. What are you confused about? Uh, wait, what you were so confused about is Boot Hill is consistent as Firefly has downtime. Blank. Respectfully, I'm gonna ask you a question. Have you played Firefly yet? That's all I want to know before we wrap up the video. You've played Firefly. Why do you have downtime? Why do you have downtime? Why do you why do you have downtime? That's the question. You you should Jingli, you having downtime makes sense. Firefly, you should not have the only time you have downtime is when you cannot clear fast. Like you're just you're not playing the character correctly. It's not properly built. You should not have downtime. Your downtime should be in between uh in between phase one to phase two. That's your downtime. And even then you probably still don't have downtime. You should not have downtime. Boot Hill has to ramp up. Firefly is immediate. They both have to achieve the same condition. Break unit, do big dick damage. So we're gonna we're gonna make that the baseline, right? Break unit, do big dick damage. So now you get into who breaks faster. Boot Hill has to ramp up in order to get that break. To get that big ass break that he does, I need my medals. I need my medals, right? Firefly Firefly cracks you in two hits. I'ma crack you, bro. I'm going to hit you with skill. I'm going to ult. And then I'm going to do it again. You're dead. You're crap. Now, guys, I'm going to wrap up the video. That's it for that one. We still have plenty more to talk about. All you guys' questions and whatnot. I'm going to go over that and all that kind of fun. How am I going to spin that video? I don't know. Anyway, um, I don't even know how long this video was. Hopefully, it's really not 40 minutes because that's a crazy ass video, bro. Uh, if you made it to this video, I apologize for like the long ass rant. If you can't tell. Hey man, this is a this is a fine dandy argument between me and chat. I loved it. I fuck with this mad hard. If you want to be a part of these arguments, come over to the Twitch. I'm probably live right now. <laughs> I can't say my usual outro is inappropriate for YouTube. Smell you later.